Hi, welcome back to Shawnee Hills Workshop. If you watched the solar panel install video I put up last week on my channel, then you saw that I had to build a roof rack in order to install the solar panel on the roof of the off-road overland camper. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how I built that roof rack so you can build one for yourself. The width of my roof is 73 and three quarters of an inch. Now, a standard size that still comes in is six feet. So because of that, I'm about an inch and three quarters inch short. Now I could buy longer pieces and then cut them down, but I'd have a lot of waste and it'd cost a lot more money. So what I'm gonna do are build brackets that offset in about an inch on each side and then weld the tube in between them. For the brackets, I've marked off four six inch pieces. I'm gonna cut them here on the horizontal bandsaw. You could do this with a grinder, with a hacksaw, you know, whatever means you need. I'm working with really thin metal here. It's only an eighth of an inch thick and that's because this isn't a beefy roof rack. All I'm putting on it is a very light solar panel. Now that being said, if you're wanting to carry kayaks or things like that, you'd probably want to step up to a little bit thicker. Now that I got the four pieces cut to length, I'm gonna go ahead and ease all these edges, round overs, just cause it's gonna be easier now before I bend them. Now normally, I would want to bend these up and then over at a slight angle and then up again um, anytime I'm making a, what I call a lift bracket for a uh, rack. But because I wanna keep this as low as possible because I'm going through low branches, I really wanna keep it no higher than what my fan is on top of the RV. I'm actually gonna come up, go over 90 degrees and then up. Um, it's a little bit weaker form of a bracket, but since it's resting right on the roof, I don't think it's gonna be an issue. Now I've marked lines on both sides of the bracket. The first one is two and a quarter inches down and on the opposite side, it's another inch down beyond that. I'm gonna score those with the grinder. That way it'll make it easier to bend. Now I can just put these in the vise right along my score line and bend them over. ground just a little bit more out of the back on this side. <clears throat> I think that's close enough. Do the next few. Now that I got these all mocked up, I'm gonna check, see how they fit. If everything looks like it's gonna fit right, I'll come back and I'll put a bead of weld on the inside corners where I cut the grooves. As you can see, I have to cut the bar down about a half an inch, which is what I was wanting. I was hoping to have to cut a little bit off the bar, not to be too short because I can't stretch it. So I've cut the crossbar to length. Now I'm going to take my grinder and clean up the edges so I can tack weld the bar to the brackets before I do the final welding.
So I've got my position laid out on the uh, bracket. Got a couple squares here. I'm gonna try to hold this up and put a couple tacks on it. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to do the other side. All right, I'm going to let that cool down just a little bit and then we'll test fit it. There it is. Fits like a glove. So now all I got to do is finish welding it up, make another one, paint them both, and bolt them to the roof. So if you want to build a roof rack, whether it be for your vehicle, for your trailer, whatever, don't be afraid to. Just get out there and try it. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit that thumbs down, but tell me why. We'll see you next time.